What's up everyone, this is Chris Tan, and on this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I set up my home theater system. Most of my friends know me as a movie buff, and my favorite pastime is going to the movies. Unfortunately, because of the lockdown, the entire 2020, I haven't watched a movie in a cinema. Luckily for me, I was able to set up my home theater system before the lockdown happened. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I put together the system and I'm gonna show you the actual quality of the video. Plus I'll show you guys the difference between a projector and a TV. And you're gonna find out how much I spent for this whole system. And this could shock you. To put together a home theater system, all you need are the following. You need your projector. You need a sound system. You need the projector screen. And for the source of video, you'll need any one of the following, either a Chromecast or uh, an Amazon Fire Stick or an Android TV box or an Apple TV. When putting together the system, you have to take into consideration the size of your room and how big do you want the screen of the projector to be. My advice to have a good cinema experience is to have the size of the screen at least 120 inches diagonally. Now you're probably wondering the quality of the video on this projector. As you can see, this is with the lights off and the curtains drawn, it's got an amazing image quality. Let's actually go close up so you can see how clear the image is even close up. You can still see the lines and there's no pixelization even at this close to the screen. Now let's try it with the lights on to see how the quality of the image is. It's gonna be a little bit diffused and that's expected because of the projector. But then again, if you're gonna be watching a movie, you're not gonna be watching a movie with the lights on. Now let's try it with some ambient light or it could be just a curtain drawn a bit or maybe just a side lamp while you're watching a movie. At this point, you can tell that the quality of the image is still really good. Some of you may be wondering why I decided to get a projector versus a television. Well, I have three factors I was considering. Number one is the size. You can't get a TV at 120 inches diagonally. And even if you find a TV at 120 inches, that's going to cost you a lot of money. And that's my second consideration, cost. And the third reason why I got a projector versus a TV is that when you're watching a television, the light goes directly into your eye and that's very tiring. You'll notice after watching TV for about an hour, your eyes feel really strained. But with a projector, the light is actually bouncing off the screen so it's not going directly to your eye and your eyes aren't as tired. You're probably wondering right now how much this whole setup costs. It's actually a lot cheaper than you think. The projector itself is a 1080p projector which I only got for about 15,000 pesos. The projector screen is about 8,000 pesos and the Android box is only about two to 3,000 pesos and the speakers are about 5,000 pesos. And then you put together the bracket and the cables and everything, roughly the whole system is not gonna cost you more than 50,000 pesos. For that price, you'd probably only end up with a 50 inch television. And that's my home cinema setup. Hope you guys learned something from this video and feel free to comment or ask me questions. I'd love to help you guys out on this one. This is Chris Tan. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching again and please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link below and click on the notification bell so you're notified of my latest video. Thanks, see you soon.